Um, yeah. What's going on? So today we're playing Outward, which is an open world game, RPG game. Um, it's very much in the vein of Gothic. You have uh, survival aspects, you have traversing and adventure aspects, you've got on the base game, because there is a couple of DLC, you got three different paths of progression slash storylines. You can build your character the way you want to build it with what they have available to you in-game because um, they have different uh, skill trees that you can train through. Um, you can be a ranged u bow user, you can be a dagger user, you could be a heavy weaponry, melee, physical fighter, magic user. You do all of that. Um, this is going to be fun. I played this game on, uh, like, right after release in April of 2019. Uh, beat the game. This is was off stream. And I uh, played it again back in 2020. Didn't quite finish it, though. Um, but yeah, here we are. I am... Both times I played it before, I played with a controller. So this time I'm doing mouse and keyboard, because I've been kind of on a mouse and keyboard kick. And uh, with RPGs specifically. And uh, I hear the game is pretty good, as is. Oh, you can play split screen, either from the same PC, if each of you have a separate copy, or if someone's on, like, another part of the world, they can literally, like, tap into the game from where you're on, from where you are, through Steam's, uh, play remotely feature, which is pretty cool. Um, and it is available on PC, PS4, P uh, Xbox One, and I think it's also available on PS5 and Xbox Series X, I'm not sure on that, though. Um. Now, because I am playing for the very first time with a mouse and keyboard, I am going to do the tutorial. I'm also going to move my camera, depending on how the UI is. Music is so good. Music is so good in this game. All righty then. Whoa. I gotta say, right off the bat, I feel like the um, sensitivity is a little high. It's three. Can we maybe half that? Can we do 1.5? No. Okay, two. Probably the only way. Yeah, that might actually be better. Okay, so. Okay, looks like we got our abilities down below. Um, B to equip. Welcome to Outwards Tutorial. Follow the red line to learn about the game's mechanics. You can bypass parts of the tutorial by not following the red line. Okay. Right. There is no jump in this game, just like dodge roll. I've already got my my um idea the idea of what I want to do for a build. Head down to learn about basic combat. Wombat combat, let's go. Oh hold on.
job's done. Okay. Press mouse button 3 to lock your camera on an enemy. Allowing you to hit them more easily. Press mouse button 3 again to remove the lock. Okay, that's easy. Although I kind of, I might want to change that. I like block being the, the right click, normal attack being left click. We'll have to see. Perform attacks with left mouse button, and special attacks with mouse button three. The number of attacks you make before making a special attack will change which strike you will make. Okay, so... We're already running into an issue because I actually was fiddling with this earlier, like, in the week. <laughs> so, I don't want... Should I do this? Should I set this up? Oh yeah, right. Just, uh... Whoops, that's not what I meant to do. Move my, move my butt over a bit. Whoa! Right there, should be. Um... Should I set this up kind of like how the Witcher 3's controls I had set up? I had like... Okay, so what if I made this... Left alt. Doesn't seem like anything is missing. Okay. If this was, if this was kind of like, okay, if this is more like the Witcher, then this would be mouse button three. And dodge will be space, sprint is left shift. lights there. Um, take drop bag. No, let's let's actually a sheath. Make that V. Sheath will make, Sheath will make B, because it's not something that you need to do crazy amounts of times. Uh, lock, aim, special attack, special attack. So 
special attack is technically like your heavy attack, right? Is it default? Mouse button three. What was toggle? Toggle is tab. Uh, I can be okay with learning that. Sheath was B. Interact toggle lights was Z. Sorry, this was Z. This was... Right? Is that right? I think so. I think for now we'll be good. Uh... Okay, it's not like a special attack, it's more like a... Or a heavy attack, it's more like a special attack. how you go behind him. I might I might change that later, I don't know. I don't know if I like having your special attack be like the middle mouse button. I, I think you know what? Let's just do it that way. Sorry. This is a place to make edits. This is a place to make edits. Um Lock. Would be mouse button three, and then this mouse button three would be something like... Is, is F anything? F is interact. is quick slot. I wonder if you're close to somebody, if they've coded it in, that if you're close to somebody and you interact with something, we can test that here. So... Yeah, if you're close to somebody and you interact with them, it takes the interaction first and doesn't, like, use your ability. Um, I would make this that. And then we got attack, special attack, and then block would be. Well, if we're just blocking, maybe it won't actually. Let's see. Blocking with F prevents damage from a strike and reduces how much you would be knocked back. Shields consume less stamina when blocking and can block arrows.
So, I guess, like, it's not terrible, but it is activating the ability. R is also a quick slot. Six, seven, and eight. What if we did that? Remember this. This is weird. The way it's set up is kind of weird. The way it's set up is kind of weird. So it's really supposed to be like one, two, three, then this would be four, five, six, seven. And what I can do is I can go into here again, do the interact. I could make interact E. Make toggle lights Q. Which may or may not be better as drop bag or take bag. Evade attacks by dodging space with space. These uh, through, though this consumes a fair amount of stamina. Okay. I'm just realizing something. Just running around. I think having, yeah. That's gonna get, uh, I'm gonna have to get used to that a little bit, but it shouldn't be like too terrible. 
terrible, too terrible. Proceed up the stairs to learn about skills. Uh, to assign skills or items to quick slots, open the menu with I. Like the quick slot tab and assign them there. So weird. This is not how it's supposed to be. One is supposed to be here. What the heck? Oh, this is supposed to be four. What the heck? Four. Wait a minute. I think I screwed up. I skipped. I skipped one. Five, six, seven, eight. Everything's in order. Skip. I don't know what this ability is. What is that ability? That's a, like a fire ability. Hello? Hold on. It's spark. Tiny fire explosion that deals negligible, neglig negligible damage. It can be used in combination with other spells for greater effects. Huh. Oh, great. First, put spark and sigil of fire skills in your quick slots, and be certain to have fire stones in your inventory. Cast a sigil of fire, then use spark while standing inside. I don't have. Stones. Most spells require items in your inventory to have an uh, effective or an effect active on you. does this last? Like 60 seconds or something?
Okay, so you need fire stones in order to use a fire sigil. And then the spark becomes a fireball. Which is decent for our paladin crusader type build. Thirsty. Physical skills often require you to wield a specific weapon type or have a status effect active on you such as the rage boon. Which I have. I have rage boon. Using predator leap, assign the enrage and predator leap skills to your quick slots. Use enrage to gain the rage boon and only then can you use predator leap. Try a bunch of different weapons. Do you know what sucks? They don't give you uh, the ability to use a warhammer. Sad. So we're going to be rocking a two handed weapon with this build. thing I got on me. Oh, these are my skills. Passive cos cosmetic. Oh, I have a pet. Nice. Oh yeah, that's the rage boon. Okay. Negative status effect. Come with me, bird. Little batty. Okay, so you guys can't see it very well, but right behind me there is a. Uh, the rage boon icon because I got the rage boon and then the negative status effect because I'm thirsty. Alright. Um I just confused. Oh. Oh, I died. <laughs> that killed me. In the tutorial, we died. 